Discount brokerages, what are they? Well, an example of a discount brokerage is Redfin, um, which is a pretty popular online resource that we all, we all use. Um, now, a discount brokerage is really exactly what it sounds like. Um, they offer you a discount, they promise you a discount on, uh, on the commission that you're gonna have to pay upon the sale of your home. So uh, a discount brokerage typically offers you know, a 1.5% uh, commission, whereas with traditional brokerage, it is, is about 2.5%. Um, so, the key to remember, however, when you're considering hiring a discount brokerage is that um, discount brokerages, they, agents that work for them, um, those agents work on, on, on a salary, basically. So they're W-2 employees. They don't work, they don't actually work on commission. So um, the agent you hire from a discount brokerage is, is really getting paid whether they sell your home or not. So they really have no skin in the game. Um, so that's, that's kind of the first thing to remember. The second thing to remember is a discount brokerage, um, the, the marketing is pretty limited. So, you know, they of course use the MLS, so they'll input all the information in the MLS, you know, the home statistics and so forth. They'll take pictures of your property. Those pictures, however, you know, will not be great. They're typically grainy and dark and terrible angles, and they really don't show your home in its best light. So, you know, that's another thing to remember. Um, and aside from that, they'll, they'll have an open house or two. But that's really, really it in terms of their marketing. Um, and, and those agents will just sit back and wait. Um, so <clears throat> with a traditional agent, with a traditional brokerage, you really do get a customized, a customized marketing push. Um, you'll get a, a social media push. You'll get information syndicated on various other platforms like Zillow and Craigslist and Facebook. Um, you will get the kind of personalized email blasts. You know, agents typically will send out to their entire database, their personal sphere. Um, every agent that they know or have worked with in the past, they will they will send out email blasts with, with you know about your property. Um, you know, so so there's that. Um, you know, depending on the property, they're get, they'll hold multiple open houses. Um, they might plan events, you know, with the food trucks and so forth at your at your home um, to get as many people to get as many people through the doors as possible to see your to see your property. So you really do get um, a really personalized, customized service when you hire a traditional a traditional agent, so traditional brokerage. Um, so just just remember that. Um, <clears throat> and I just want to highlight it again that um, real estate, real estate sales is really, um, it's really a business of personal relationships. So the discount brokerage, for lack of a better term, really discounts that. Um, they take that out of the equation. So uh, what I would suggest is um, always don't think about percentages. You know, don't think about how much it's gonna cost you to hire a certain agent. Um, and, you know, how much is gonna come off the top um, once you sell your home. Think about um, think about the service. Um, interview agents. You know, do you have a good rapport with an agent? Um, you know, do they make you feel at ease? Are they trustworthy? Do they have a nice personality? Um, do you get sort of a sense that a gut instinct with with an agent when you interview them that they'll be able to sell your home? Are you impressed with um, you know with uh, their previous marketing? You know. Um, ask them to show you samples of their previous marketing and other, other sort of tools that they've used to sell other homes. Um, it, you know, it's really important that you envision yourself working with an agent um, and seeing a transaction <clears throat> all the way through to the very end. So, um, it, you know, really, really just do remember that, that, that selling your home, um, it's, it's really about a personal relationship. And you know, in a marketplace that's super competitive like Los Angeles, it kind of feels like agents are a dime a dozen. But you know, agents really do work hard. They really do hustle. Um, your typical agent is working 15, 16, 17 hours a day. Um, and they're wearing really every hat. They are the sales department, they're the marketing department. Um, they work in contracts. They're in constant contact with um, they're active clients, sometimes, you know, five, six, seven. I, I know certain some agents that have like 10 or 15 clients that they're actively working with at any, any one time. So they're co in constant contact with each of these clients. Um, 
sifting through properties on the on 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 market and off market, um, trying to trying to match clients with properties, um, and and they're also um, they're working on their pipeline. They're lead generating every day, so that's two, three, four hours of lead gen every single day, and that includes door knocking, um, you know, sending out mailers, cold calling, calling uh, calling people in their sphere and their database. So um, you know, an agent really does does hustle, and they really they really do put in. Um, a lot of work. Um, so before you, you know, discount, you know, a realtor, um, you know, just do do remember that. So um, finally, just you know, as I've said, think about the personalized service you get, and stop thinking about the percentages, because um, there is a famous line that we all know: is you get what you pay for.